The Jets are in the market for a quarterback. Again, the New York Post Jets beat writer Brian Costello has a three-part series exploring their options this offseason. And the first part is a look at trading for Packer star Aaron Rodgers. So let's bring in Cos. Uh, Brian, never a dull day in Jets world. Uh, <laughs> I'm loving uh, the series, the first part. You, you wrote, some fans need to R-E-L-A-X when it comes to A-Rodge, to gang green. So what are some of the biggest obstacles in terms of Joe Douglas getting Aaron Rodgers to Florham Park? Well, the first obstacle is a big one to acknowledge. There, there has to Aaron Rodgers has to say he wants out, right? Like he they, he has to decide he wants to play. He has to decide he doesn't want to play in Green Bay, and then he has to decide he wants to play for the Jets. And those are some big hurdles to clear. And the Packers are going to have to agree to trade him. So once we get past that, if it becomes a reality that he is on the trade block, then Woody Johnson has to decide whether he wants to spend the money on Aaron Rodgers, and you know the the organization has to decide: Do they want a 39 year old quarterback? This is not going to be a franchise quarterback for the next 10 years, like they've kind of dreamed of with Sam Darnold or Zach Wilson. This is a stopgap, a good stopgap, but it's going to be a stopgap for one or two years. And do they want to go down that road? In a pricey stop gap uh i mean yeah. because of that contract and that cap hit that's going to weed a lot weed out a lot of teams in terms of who can pursue him who can trade for him every team doesn't have that type of money so would his contract be somewhat cap friendly to the jets and are there any other ways they could bring him in if they decide that he's the guy they want yeah brendan it's really not about salary cap here it's about cash so there's two elements to nfl spending the, the cap which we all kind of know and is easy to understand because the numbers are on the internet now and we can see how much cap space they have that part of it is not a problem because the way the, that rogers contract is constructed the cap numbers are pretty low for the next two years so the jets could do it cap wise it's cash and he would be owed 59 million dollars in cash this year and does woody johnson want to spend that do they have the budget for that? It's easy to say, oh, Woody Johnson's a billionaire, but the Jets weren't planning on spending $59 million on their quarterback in 2023. That was all the talk when he drafted Zach Wilson. Oh, he's on a rookie contract. They'll have money for other things. You're now shifting that completely. And he's cutting a check. You know, I think it goes $20 million and $38 million checks. Nice checks to get if you're Aaron Rodgers. But do the Jets want to do that? Do they want to spend that kind of money uh, is a question they'll have to answer. $59 million. Cos, why did I play good, wide receiver? Good agent. <laughs> why did I good play agent. wide receiver? Uh, so, <laughs> again, so if, if, and a uh, key word, if, if a deal gets done and they do sign him, does $59 million and Aaron Rodgers get the Jets into the playoffs next season? Yeah, I, I think it does. I think because they were close, Brandon, right? They were so close. We saw this here. Their defense is good. It's young. I don't expect a drop off there. You know, they're, they're not going to, I don't think they're going to lose many of those key players this offseason. They've got Brees Hall coming back. I don't know if he'll be 100%, but he'll be back. Garrett Wilson showed a lot. I think Elijah Moore still has a lot of potential. They have work to do on the offensive line, but I think they would do it if they, if they have a quarterback. They're going to, you know, have to. So, uh, you know, I think I think it would make them a, a, definitely a playoff contender. Lots of things can happen on the way to the playoffs, as many teams showed this year. But it definitely in increases the, the odds that they're going to make it. And right before we did this interview, uh, the news just dropped that the Jets are hiring Nathaniel Hackett uh, as offensive coordinator. He has some familiarity with Rodgers and some success with Rodgers. Do you think hiring yeah. Hackett could help uh, the Jets land Aaron Rodgers? I think it could, you know, I, they, there's familiarity there. Like you're, you're trying, we talked about does Aaron Rodgers want the jets is going to be a big part of this. Right. And why would he want the jets? If he has a coach here that he knows, and by all accounts, he likes you'd think that helps the jets chances of getting him. I do not think that has hired Nathaniel Hackett saying, okay, this is going to land us Aaron Rodgers. That's too many steps to jump, but I do think, you know, it's a added bonus and that if Aaron Rodgers becomes available, Nathaniel Hackett will play a key piece in that if the Jets do pursue him. Well, I, I imagine with the news just breaking, you've, uh, you've got some work to do. You're about to bust <laughs> out that laptop. Uh, thanks for jumping on and uh, joining us. Thanks for having me, Brandon.